Good morning, dear friends. One more day in this reincarnation. How precious it is. So precious that it deserves a pause to reflect on how we're going to proceed during this day. Because this day may define the other days that come along. And God is counting on us to co-create in greater ways than we've ever done. Today, we're going to talk about this discipline within us. It's the message from the book Jesus in the Home by the spirit author Neil Lucio through Chico Xavier. Chapter 47, The Disturbed Educator. In Peter's home, Jesus was doing the traditional meeting when they were talking about life and he was guiding them in thoughts, feelings, and prayers. Andrew, who was considered the helpful apostle, was talking about how hard it is to adjust ourselves to living according to the new truths. When Jesus told the following story, for everyone's edification. He said that there was a very strong man who was a specialist in several types of services of reparation and readjustment. And he was invited by an angel to help mend a crippled man. He used a hammer and in spite of the man's cries, he helped fix that man. And from person to person to person to person, in spite of people's pains and tears, this strong man was able to do it. But at some point he was tired. He was tired of himself. He was tired of his own problems and asked the angel, can I go to heaven with you? And the angel returned to him and said, but before you come, you need to fix your deformed feet, your crippled hands, etc., etc. And the men started using the same method that he applied onto others. He couldn't do it. He fell on the floor out of pain, in tears. Jesus says that even the angel couldn't recognize the men, it was changed. And he assigned another angel to help him out. At the end of the story, that you can read more in the book, Jesus in the Home, we come to know of the main message. What is the main message for the day today? Jesus, observing everyone's surprised faces, he concluded, let us use patience and love in all our tasks of correction. Let us learn to bear the measures with which we seek to improve the position of those around us. Because for every spirit, the time comes when it must be effectively and safely polished up for the divine light. Hmm. He's talking about patience and love. He's talking about the measures we use with others that we should apply onto ourselves. Let's talk about patience then. Emmanuel, through Chico Chave, in another book named O Consolador, explains to us that the foundation for patience is the experience in love. So we need to learn to love and think that the measures we apply on to others, we need to apply on ourselves. We're going to evolve when we feel more deeply empathetic towards people. Observing how we make people feel. Being attentive to what we are doing towards people. It's a discovery for many lives. 
we agree. But how about if we focus a little more on it today? Telling ourselves, let me be more loving. Let me be more patient. Let me feel what people may feel before I actually do something or say something. Let us propose ourselves to do this during the day. Be inspired by Jesus' proposal as we pray together to strengthen ourselves and move forward in optimism. Yes, in positive thinking, in positive feelings. Friends, let's be positive and believe that everything is coming for the better. We are here to progress. We'll never regress. Thank God. Let us pray. Loving Master Jesus, we need to feel your presence of love in our lives. The soothing notes of your lessons. The security in your guidance. The world is so tired and barely knows that you have already come. Let us all cooperate with you to spread the good news. Your humility is so astounding to us because you count on us to help sharing the good that you brought to us. And we are humbled ourselves by the invitation, which is a blessing. We pray that people feel your loving care and the relief to their pains. We pray for those who are sick, that they may find healing vibrations, helping hands. Lord, may our planet Earth feel the envelopment of your invitation to the good. And we praise God for bringing us your loving presence. Thank you, God, for this one more day. May we be more patient and loving, and so be it. Thank you so much, friends, for being with us at Kardec Radio another day. We hope you stay with us for more beautiful programs and you can watch 24-7, listen to it in our app or in our website. Our live programs will be in other platforms as well. If you have any questions, please write to us at kardecradio at gmail.com. Let us stay connected. Because here at Kardec Radio, we're always nourishing our souls.